So I've been aware of the game Ghost Recon Wildlands for a while now, but with my lack of interest in Ubisoft open world games, I didn't bother watching any of its trailers or anything as the one gameplay demo I'd seen had left me unimpressed. Then I found out the director of Predator, Die Hard, The Hunt for Red October, Last Action Hero, and Die Hard of a Vengeance amongst others, John McTiernan, had directed a live action trailer for the game. Which, since his last film, Basic, is also his first directorial effort in 14 years. I'm never a huge fan of most of these live action game trailers, I sort of don't see the point. They rarely feel close to what the games are and are generally not quite close to the scale and scope of the games they're advertising. It'd be like advertising the latest Bond film, with a rushed playable demo of a game version you'll never actually play. If the director of Predator is behind that live action game trailer and the cinematographer is Jeff Cronenweth, David Fincher's go-to guy, fuck it, I am in. The thing is, it is one of the better of these live action game trailers I've ever seen. It's slick, it has a dark sense of humour to it, and as you'd expect, it has great camera work. It even has the McTiernan style of soundtrack behind the action. It's not quite the return I'd want for one of the greatest action filmmakers of all time, but it's better than nothing. And this is only the first, there's apparently going to be 11 more of these to come, one a month. Hopefully they'll cut them all together into some extended version. I still probably won't play Wildlands, but I'll definitely be watching the trailers. I wouldn't normally make a big thing about trailers because I'm basically giving Ubisoft free advertising here, but, but if these trailers being successful helps lead to McTin and maybe making another film, something he definitely deserves in a world where a guy like Mel Gibson can be Oscar nominated, then I am all for it.